Hello guys, welcome back to another video and today's video we're gonna install this tachometer or hour meter whatever you call it to my Honda Generator EU22i the last video we have is we set up this hour meter and today we're gonna go install it let's get started no need to waste more time let's go okay we're here so this is wherever you want to put your your hour meter so you want to decide put over there or over here for your Honda EU22 or whatever generator you have so I was planning to put over here where it open but every time you open this spark plug it's gonna be on the way and the wire is gonna be there so I decided to put it here I was gonna put it here in the front so what I do I drill a hole over here and I unscrew four screw one over here one over here on the bottom and one over here and one over here on the side so you got one two three four on the side not in this front okay and then just open up and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put run the wire over here or going inside and tuck the wire inside going in there okay let's let's do that there we go so we put it in it's kind of a little bit challenged so i can show you so right there and right there it's kind of a little bit challenged going inside there and so i end up when i put it in here it came out over here so i have to put it in there so yeah by the way and the only thing good this one is this thing it's like a velcro right there and uh just to mention when you drill the stuff be careful not to drill your gas stuff all right and for me is i'm gonna leave some little bit um like gap for my wire so when i open this one in the future it's not really gonna tie it like that so yeah you better do what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do over here first and before i close it all right let's do that okay we're here so what we're gonna need is kind of flyer just to cut the wire because it's too long and a uh, scissor so first thing we're gonna unplug this one it's just a snap this is for plug right there and like i said i never close my thing so i know how much uh, extra wire I have in there so when I open that in the future okay let's do this so you're gonna all you do is just wrap them it's a four to five turn two three four five and then all you gonna do is third turn you need your zip tie so I give you this one make sure it's tight tie them up right uh, nice and tight so it uh, detects the stuff all right and look how long is this wire so you can use it for your car or this uh, hour meter so we're gonna cut that extra wire boom and put this back don't forget to put it back there you go and then let's go cut this extra wire boom so easy or you can cut it much shorter and then now we're gonna try to put all this screw back all right all right now i put it back look how pretty is that i decided to put in the front so everything is in the front so yep so i can unthink that thing that thing that okay now it's time for test testing okay, before right. we start this one 
uh, see what's going on. And I forgot to mention that uh, if you want to display when I, when you start your generator, there's uh, three different kinds. You want, I mean, two different kinds. You, if you want just to display the hour or the RPM. To do that, just press M. And if you see that IP, IP1R, just press hold on the S and then will flash so you can choose press s again so if you want our the display just leave that thing or you can there's a three different different kind on the rpm there's 2p1r 12pr and 1p1r in the manual it show you what's happening so in the manual say the 1pr is for four stroke two cylinder spark plug firing and engines rotate this is uh, for one spark per revolution and uh, two pr1 is four stroke four cylinder and per revolution and the one pr yeah like i tell you so you have to choose so if you wanna show the rpm or and then i show you the bo both uh both program it show the hours or the rpm so you only can choose one start uh, testing on the rpm rpm display so press m and press hold on the s so the one one p one r is one spark one per revolution and this is the hours and this two uh, two spark per two spark per revolution and one spark for two revolutions so mine i think is just one spark four stroke uh, one cylinder so just leave that thing until it stop flashing and let's go start it all right as you can see the rpm show right away so even if when the generator or what kind of motor you're using you won't even you press this one it's not gonna do nothing it's showing so i have a steady 4000 rpm okay now let's go try i'm gonna turn up so when you turn up it's just go back to hours and then it show you the hours how much hours okay let's go try the hours Okay, first you're gonna do again the M, we're in the PR, and then press hold S, and press S again until see the hours and just leave, until the flash leave, and... Turn back to hours. Okay, let's go start this thing. Look how good is that Honda generator, just one start. Just one start. Okay, as you can see, never change. And the hours. I hope you can see that the hours is blinking. Okay. Okay, let's just turn this off. So, what do you guys think? Okay, so I think it's better to show uh, just put the display on uh, RPM right because once you turn it up it show the hours anyway and then let's do that press M and if you press M again you can see your your uh, service this is will blink when it's time for your service I like to do 50 hours on my generator and then press again for your data and to do that just press hold again to re to reset the hours and hours okay and let's go back to the settings press hold and press s again i will leave to my one spark and one revolution and just leave it until the flash will stop all right, now it's back. So if you get this display, we'll just leave it. It, it just stay on. 
So if you guys want to tur turn off, like I said earlier, I want to show you earlier, just press both this one, hold together, and we show off and release. And it's off. Oh, uh, let's go try if it's off and it start by itself. Let's go try start the generator if we turn off the monitor. So guys, uh, if you turn up the monitor, oh right there, it turned up by itself. So if you turn up the monitor, when you start your motor or your generator, it'll just come back. Okay, let's go turn it up. Let's see if she's gonna shut up myself. All right, it's, so it turned on. Okay, we'll wait until we'll see if the display will turn up by itself. And I'm gonna pass forward this one and we'll be, I'll be back when I uh, think. Okay guys, after 5 minutes I've been waiting and the display is still on. So I have no time for wait for that for long. So I think uh, basically once you turn on, well once you turn off and then you start the gen, gen, your engine or your generator or whatever you use this one, it will turn on by itself. So once you turn off the gener generator or motor, it will stay on so once you turn up your motor or your generator you just turn up manually by yourself like i said press both and turn off and the good thing on this one is uh this uh got the service it give you if you have a service time and yep you know what i'm saying <laughs> yeah. i hope you guys understand that and if you guys i give this one a thumbs up and if you guys like this one, if you have interested, check out down below my description and uh, I'll direct you to Amazon. And this is affiliate. I'm not sponsored with this. So yeah. So that's it for this video guys. And if you guys like it or if you have any question or comment, just comment me down below and don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like it. If you don't want, I don't care, give me a thumbs down. And if you want more video on me, please subscribe and press that notification bell. So give me more motivation. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you and I see you when I see you in my next video. Thank you.